through the uh, emotions and um, and your thinking behind coming back to the city? Uh, I don't know. So I guess it probably started when they're doing like their good playoff World Series run a while ago. Just uh, coming back and playing against them and seeing how the town and fans kind of how much has changed since when I was in Kansas City, like how much excitement was there. I thought it was really uh, neat to see. And then even uh, a couple years after that when the team wasn't quite as good and the, there was still a lot of excitement and uh, I just thought it was great for the city of Kansas City when that was going on and it was, it was really pretty awesome. And I, I guess I didn't really know how much I was going to talk or not, but uh, that was that was one thing neat to see. And then there is one other thing I guess I won't say yet that really impressed me with the Royals organization uh, that happened like maybe five, seven years ago. And just kept in touch with some people over the years and felt like it would be a place that I would be real happy and comfortable being being a part of again and just each year especially the last couple of years it started feeling more like a good place for me to go and um, probably a question going to be asked next I mean I don't feel this is my last year I'm hoping to have a lot of fun this year um, this was a team I I singled out that I wanted to play for. Um, it was my number one choice. The only thing that would have made it a little tough is if the pitchers were still allowed to hit. And I was hoping that the pitchers would still be allowed to hit, and then I would that would have opened up a lot of teams I would want to play for in the National League. But it seems like no one wanted to see to see that anymore, or not not the important people didn't want to see it. The people making the decisions. Um, so when that was decided, it became like clear number one choice, and just hoping to have a fun year, hoping to help out um, as many players as possible if needed here, and I think I could be valuable with that. I know when I was in Kansas City, I was young, and first couple years, we had some guys that were that would try to help when they were great guys, helped a lot. But uh, when Gil Mesh came over and he was a bigger name and still really good, I think just seeing him pitch every fifth day helped helped me a lot. And hope that that could happen for other people. And there was a couple teams I singled out that I thought could use that help the most. Um, so that was Kansas City was one of them, and but also I think it's going to be a good year too. So um, hope it's fun. Hope to play a couple more years still. Do you uh, do you look at yourself as a leader on the staff uh, with the younger guys? I don't really know. I mean, I guess that doesn't happen until you are in the season, and I mean the leader could be the youngest guy on the team. The leader could be anybody it could be uh, the coach could be the leader a lot a lot of things could happen so I don't think that you could call yourself a leader or plan on being the leader it just kind of either happens or it doesn't and if it's if that doesn't happen then hopefully someone else has that role and does a good job hey Zach uh, Lynn Wade from the Kansas City Star nice to meet you um, I was curious what it was like coming back to this facility, um, getting that Royals uniform back on, if uh, that just felt like, or if there's anything that came back to your mind? Or... Um, not too much. I've played a, like a long time and have been able to, I don't know, you go back to places that you were at and so it's not like a new experience really for me. It's happened a lot. so. And the clubhouse has changed completely since the last time here, so the that's kind of it. Alan? What was it like um, 
getting to reconnect with Dayton and have dinner um, a few nights ago? Uh, Dayton's the best. Uh, if if it wasn't for him and just the the person he is and how he treats people, I mean he's he's a very 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 high reason I wanted to come back. What what motivates you heading into your nineteenth season? Uh, you just every day just try to do what you can. It's not really like a a long term goal type thing. It's just uh, see how good you could do that day and do what you can to get prepared. And I guess the goal each start is to do what I need to do to do as good as I can that day. And maybe that's give up seven runs that game. But if I did everything I could, then that's what it is. And if I give up two runs and don't feel I was prepared properly. I might be mad because no one, I should have gave up one run or no runs. And so the goal is just to be prepared and uh, put your best effort and give yourself your best opportunity. That's my goal. But, Zach, um, when, when you left, um, you know, obviously in, in 2010 or after 2010, did you ever feel like, or at that time, did you feel like, you know, you could see yourself coming back here at that point? Uh, didn't really think about that too much. It, it wasn't the right place for me at that time. Um, Milwaukee was a perfect place for me. I had a great time there. And most teams I end up being on, I mean, that's where I'm supposed to be at that time. And at that time, I thought Kansas City was not the right place at that time. And I think it's proven right. Kansas City did great after I left. And, I mean, it worked out good for me personally, too. But uh, it just, I don't know, it just wasn't the right time. And uh, um, just to follow up, um, aside from the seeing what happened with the World Series and everything, was there anything else that stuck out that made you feel differently about um, the world? And aside from the passage of time. Yeah, kind of just, I said it earlier, but it was just a couple of reasons was seeing the fan excitement there and the fact that I still feel it's it's more so there than when, when I was there, even um, with COVID and stuff, it was a little bit trickier the last couple of years. I, maybe things were a little different then, but uh, I mean, even around Arizona, you see, and back home when I'm in Orlando, you see people with Royal stuff on, and it's kind of, uh, I, I don't remember that being the case back in 2002 to 2010 when I was with the Royals. Uh, and then Dayton, just the way he, uh, the way he runs the organization, I respect it a lot. Uh, you pitched at Carlton Stadium, I think, in 2019. But how much are you looking forward to pitching in that ballpark again? So uh, I love the park. I think it's amazing. Um, for me, when people ask me what the best stadium is in baseball, that's my favorite stadium. And maybe that's because I played there so long, but there's a lot. It's a great stadium. When, when did you think that it would be a possibility to be able to come back here? I know the Royals have wanted you for the last for several years now. Um, it seemed like the timing was right this offseason. When did you think that you know this was going to be the place that you go in 2022? Uh, Probably in 2020, I knew that that was, maybe even 2019, I knew that that was where I wanted to go. Have you lobbying for an at-bat yet? No, but I talked to one of my buddies. I, I just want to hit when he pitches against us. So maybe maybe we could work that out <laughs> and just hit when he's pitching, then it'll be like five, six innings, so it'll be two, two at-bats, two, three at-bats. And then someone will come in for me after that. But so maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work out if uh, one of our DHs is kind of hurt, and there's a lefty. D, we only have lefty options. Maybe. What pitcher? Uh, I'm not gonna say. <laughs>
Um, how much different of a pitcher are you, um, and what do you think about how you've evolved through time since you were last here? Since uh, I was last in Kansas City? Yeah. Uh, there's just always changes. Um, I made a big change in 2013. So I made a huge change in 2007, helped a ton. Made another huge change in 2013 that helped a ton. And uh, uh, I'm different than I was in Kansas City, but not too much different than 2013. Those changes mechanical? Partially, yeah. Uh, uh, Zach, I was curious, and I know you haven't been here that long, but the, are you familiar or how familiar are you with the, the pitchers? Like you talked about being able to help some of the young guys. I didn't know if you had any observations of some of the young pitchers that are here. So not as familiar as I should be. I know a decent amount of them from when they were drafted and followed them some, and I know there's talent. I don't know deep enough at the moment of what – all the pitchers' strengths and weaknesses are, and so I still have to learn some stuff. But I'm familiar with with a good amount of them. Sure. How about the defensive talent you'll have behind you, and how enticing was that? Very good question. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was good. Uh, last year it was kind of fun watching them when we came to Kansas City. So it's a big park, and a lot of people see big park and they're like, "Oh, it's a pitcher's park," but uh, when you get a base hit, the base hit turns into double sometimes. Sometimes it would be an out, but since the park's so big, it ends up being a hit. And then people are taking extra bases left and right uh, on base hits. And uh, it was kind of interesting. It felt like the Royals team was built around that a little bit. Um, so that was, they obviously have a good defense. Yeah, right? 